what is going on guys welcome back black sheep garage here all right uh gonna do a quick video it's not gonna be fancy just real quick um if you're ever installing a new engine power stroke commons doesn't matter ls anything with the g rotor pump oil pump Something like without the old school, you know, pump you can prime with a drill or anything like that. Um, as most of y'all know, these 7.3 diesels have a G-Rotor pump on the front of them, just like Cummins does, just like LS does, just like almost every car out there nowadays does. Nobody has those old school oil pickups anymore, um, oil pumps anymore. Uh, so to get them primed, you can't just turn a drill and get the prime and all that good shit. So um, basically, one of the ways to go about it, and I looked around, they wanted you to, you know, get a pressurized kit and all that. Um, so what I did is I have my old pressure gauge here, and this is hooked up to the 1 8 MPT port next to the uh, oil filter um, to test my oil pressure. So like right now, I just started this engine. Um, it's already getting warm, so I'm a little bit below 40 PSI. When I first started, that was about uh, 55 PSI at idle. Um, Cold oil. So anyway, to get the sucker primed, you sit there and crank 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 and never get primed. Um, what I did was I went ahead and left this hose connected, took this gauge off, and I used my uh, my AC uh, pressurized cleaning bottle to clean out your AC, all the lines that you're replacing compressors and shit like that. Um, I went ahead and filled this sucker up with oil. Um, I had a fitting, fitting that would go from this guy to this guy, which is the way it comes, completely stock. I took the tip off of it, got a 1 8 MPT, um, male to male, and on my gauge side, on this hose side, that's a 1 8 MPT as well. So basically, I took the gauge off, I put that bad boy in there like that hooked that up to my pressurized can. I put about, went to two bottles, filled that up with 1540, put air to it, pressurized it, pressurized the system. I guess I made about two cans. And I think it's about a quart, so I'm gonna say, say two quarts. Um, took that system off, threw my gauge back on, went ahead and started the crank, and it took about all of the I don't know, maybe 10 seconds for it to uh, prime. As soon as it did, came right up to 40 PSI. Um, took all that crap off, put my gauge back on, checked my engine compartment, make sure everything was clear. Had my screen set up here, checked my uh, injector control pressure regulator, pressure, uh, waited for it to hit 500 PSI and it fired right off. So for those of you guys that are asking, how do you prime your 7.3 oiling system after you've installed a short block, long block, whatever. Pulls your oil pump off, which then it shouldn't really be that hard because you already have oil in the system. Um, but a dry engine, something that has not had oil in it before, meaning the heads, the oil galleries, all of that, the high pressure pump system, all of that is empty. Go ahead, guys. Even if you don't own the damn thing, you can go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone and rent this thing for like 30, 40, 50 bucks, I think. Maybe it's an $80 deposit. I don't know. I just bought this one because uh, I use it a lot. So, um, you're gonna run it, fill it up with oil, pressurize that shit. I said two cans, maybe three if you want to, depending if you already got oil in your system or not. Um, so once you got that going, fire it up, check everything, make sure your pressure's good, and you're good to go, guys. All right, so I told you I was gonna keep this short, quick. Uh, I need to keep watching this engine because first time it's ran so i'll catch you all later guys like subscribe we helped out um that's about it we'll see you all in the next one later